A guy asked me about two months ago, he said, E.T., if there's one mistake you've made, what's that one mistake you made? I said, I'm gonna be honest with you. My values are not in alignment with my dreams. He said, E.T., what, what do you mean by that? I said, I wanna tell you a story. I got a good friend of mine, who, you know, a good friend of mine, he came to me and said, Eric, my marriage is not where my marriage needs to be. I need to make some adjustments. I see you and your wife. I see how much time you spend with your wife, how much time you spend with your children, and I just, I want that. You buy your wife roses regularly. You're always taking her out to eat. Like, E, I'm watching you, you spoil her. E.T., I just, what can I do? And so I told him what to do, and guess what he started doing, God? He started doing the exact same thing I started doing. And he said, Eric, it's not working. Like, I'm doing exactly what you're doing, but it's not working. I said, he said, why isn't it working? I said, you know why it's not working? Because your values and your dream, you say, you say you want a better marriage. But I told you, you need to iron your wife's clothes. You know what he told me? After a while, he said, I'm gonna be honest with you, Eric. You, I know, you told me to iron, you told me to wash, you told me to cook, but where I come from, he said, I'm gonna be honest, Eric. When I do that, I feel like a punk. And I said, that's why you're having a hard time doing it. Because your value system says, a man is not supposed to iron, a man is not supposed to cook, a man is not supposed to wash dishes. That's what your value system says. So you're doing one thing, but you're going against your own value system. The reason why I'm having such an easy time washing clothes and cooking and ironing, you know why? because nothing is as important to me as my marriage. And I would rather be happy, I would rather be happy than to say I ain't no punk. Let make me a punk. I want to be a punk. I realized that information changes situations. And so I'd rather buy a book than buy a house. Because if I buy a book, I can buy several homes. But if I buy a home and I don't have the right information, guys, pre okay, I'm leaving you with this. This is crazy. Can I be honest with you guys? You could take, you could burn my house down and it wouldn't bother me. Well, how do I know? I had a home that, that a tornado tore down in Alabama. It didn't bother me. Why? Because I, we have the blueprint and they can rebuild it. You can take all my money out the bank. It, I might, uh, it might hit me, ooh. But if I would tell you my lineup of speaking and our audio book, what we're making every month, we go, it'll be all right, I can make more money. But if you take the knowledge out of my head and take the experiences that I have, I'm broke, I'm nothing. There are those of you saying, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. That you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're a consumer, but you're, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying. But those books are not in alignment with your values. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. The problem with most people, the problem with most people is that you're not obs obsessed with improvement. You're obsessed with making money. You're obsessed with taking your business to the next level. And can I be honest with you guys? When you become obsessed with improvement, I will spend more time learning in Australia than I will speaking. I will spend more time sitting under people. I will spend more time with Glenn. I will spend more time with Aaron. I will spend more time learning than I will speaking in this country. I will walk away with stuff I never heard before, books I've never read before. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. Listen to me, a true hunter, watch me, watch me. A true hunter is wired differently. He's wired differently. Doesn't have the same makeup. Listen to me, what makes a gazelle a gazelle is how he's wired. When a lion sees a gazelle and the gazelle sees the lion, both beasts see each other at the exact same time. When the gazelle sees the lion because of how he's wired, he automatically, fear takes over. When the lion sees a gazelle, he lights up. It's showtime. The hunt is on, this is what I was made for. And if you ever studied a lion in his natural environment, watch this guys. If an animal is wounded, the lion won't even do what? Won't attack. Right, for real, there's some of you, there are opportunities that you're like, it's too difficult, it's too hard.
wired. Nobody can do it. You're not wired properly. A lion welcomes the challenge. As a matter of fact, they don't get excited unless it is a challenge. Wired differently. The gazelle immediately, when the gazelle immediately sees a lion, the first thing it thinks about is, let's go. First thing the lion does is like, let's eat. So you gotta do me a huge favor. If you're gonna get to a certain level, you gotta welcome it. So, so everybody's like, ET man, you're just so positive. Everything in your life, man, you just, you just got it going on. I'm a real lion, and with a real lion, you'll never know. You'll never know what's going on in my life because I'm a lion and under every single circumstance, I'm a lion. So I lost five aunts to cancer in the last six years. I lost two last year, lion, still TGIM, still. No, actually my aunt's death made me go and do TGIM like I never did it before. Most of you heard the mixtape, not, not even a year ago, went to the doctor's office with my wife. Look guys, you always know something's wrong when the doctor, when it takes your physician like 45 minutes to 50 to come in like something's doesn't take that long. Physician comes in, puts up the x-ray, shows my wife, points to the brain, and said, we found seven legions on your brain. I'm a lion. My wife looked at the doctor, the doctor looked at my wife, my wife looked at me. I'm like, I don't have, four, I don't have seven legions on my brain. Why is my wife looking at me? Because she's like, you a lion. And you're gonna be able to tell me if I can get through this or not. So my wife looks at me. I'll be honest with you guys, when they first told us she had seven leaves on the brain, she didn't break a, she didn't break a sweat, but then they said, you have to stop working until we find out what it is. And she said, how long? I said, three months, six months. She said, I gotta stop working, but she's a, she's a beast. So the disease didn't bother her, but the fact that you can't hunt anymore, that bothered her. So my wife looks at me and says, what kind, no words, but she kind of looks at me like, okay, this is terrible. We've been together since we were 16. You've helped me to get out of everything. What now? I said, we can, we will. We must. We got a son graduating from college. You need to be there. We got a daughter that's going to finish high school in two years. You need to be there. You can get through this. Oh, I'm wired differently. I didn't start crying. I didn't say, why me? Why my wife? I'm doing good to the world. I'm not hurting anybody. Why me? I'm wired differently. We, a t-shirt came from it. A video came from it that has over a million hits that inspired people called what? I can, I will, I must turn it into a t-shirt. We turn tragedy into triumph. We turn tri- that's what lions do. Lions don't cry, lions don't give up, lions don't quit, lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. And if you are a true lion, it does not make a difference what the circumstances is. So what? We're in a recession. We made more money in a recession than we've ever made before. As a matter of fact, it was the recession that birthed us. Listen to me very closely. If you're going to walk three years, Glenn said it, three years, that dream that you have, that money that you want, if you're going to make it happen, you're going to have to be wired differently. I have standards. I have values. I don't care how much you pay me. If I speak at an elementary school for $300, I chose to do that. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just say you're giving 50%. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No, no more alcohol, not right now. Not, no, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. Listen to me. Luck is for leprechauns and you ain't green. Luck is for leprechauns, and you're not green.
I'm gonna say it again. Luck is for leprechauns and you're not green. What I am telling you is that if you're willing to go beast mode, you can have whatever you want. I'm a living example. You can start from nothing. Start from nothing, you know the story. Mom was a teenage mom. Start with nothing. Grandma had 14 kids. Start with nothing. Two bedroom house, one bathroom. Mom got kicked out because she had me. Start with nothing. Start with nothing, high school dropout. Start with nothing, homeless. 12 years to get a four year degree from the university. Start with nothing. If you are willing to grind, I believe effort, and you've heard me say it. You might come from prison. You might have a father that can give you everything your little heart desires, but you will not outwork me. Listen to me, I told you, I told you, I told you, I want you to think about those goals. I want you to taste them. I want you to, I want, I want you to be, I want you to internalize it. I'm not asking you to tell me what your goals are because I'm interested in hearing everybody in the room. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly do anything with it. Listen to me, this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you to dream your dream because I want you to feel it. I want you to taste it. I want you to know how close, I, I want you just like when the weather is changing, you can feel it. I want you to be able to feel when you're getting closer to it and closer to it. But more importantly, I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. You might be the ant and the ant has very little, but he's determined, he's strong. He has a dream and a goal and he'll do whatever it takes. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The bigger your dream is, the more effort you're gonna have to put in. And for those of you who raise your hand and put up 70%, you'll never see it. You'll never see it for those of you who are 70%, 70% beast mode, 30% gazelle. When you said to yourself, when the ball comes out, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You've gotta execute and you've gotta go from 70 to 120. No excuses, guys. I wish I could, I wish you could pay me a thousand dollars today. And I could tell you 70% is enough. I wish you could pay me 1500. I wish you could pay me 1500 but it's not gonna happen. When you're thinking, you're thinking, I want you to get it out of your system. You're thinking, I'm gonna work hard for 10 years, then I'll relax. And if that's what you're thinking, this ain't for you.